Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have the opportunity to get a little crafty today, so I thought I would share the card that I made with you guys. Okay, so first of all, I stamped out a frame using a close to my heart set called Frame Flare. This was a uh, D stash, or not a D stash, but a garage sale find that I had purchased previously. So I have a piece of my Crafter's Companion cardstock and I'm inking it off with Memento Black ink. Um, I kind of tried to center it and it looked like I was, but from there you can see it's a little bit to the right hand side, but I cut it out later so there's no worries. So I'm just stamping the frame and I'm going to set it off to the side for now. And then I am stamping out of this W plus nine going places stamp set. I'm just stamping a couple of the little bunnies. And again, it's on uh, Crafter's Companion paper with Memento Black Tuxedo ink. Um, using my Fisker's stamp press uh, it's been a while since I've used it. And I realized after that for this size stamp, it's probably better just to do them one by one. So you can see the little bunny's ears to the right hand side didn't quite stamp clear enough. So I thought I would try it again with both bunnies. <laughs> And again, it did the same thing. So you'll see I took off the large bunny and just stamped the little bunny by himself. And it worked out much better. Okay, so now I'm just going to color in the bunnies. I'm using W1 and W2 along with the colorless blender just to add a little bit of shading to the bunnies. And it's just really quick. I did speed this up for you guys, but it's just really quick coloring. Um, just adding a little bit of shading on the edges because I do not want it to be all gray. I want it to look like a white bunny. And then with the colorless blender, that kind of helps um, make the color kind of blend in and disappear. And then I did also use R11 on the ears just to give a little bit of pink. Sorry about the shaking. I really need to uh, get a better setup for my camera. Whenever I color it shakes the table and that shakes the uh, camera so And then again for the little bunny, same colors, W1 and W2 and the colorless blender, and then R11 for the ears. And I'm not being particular about the lines because these guys are getting cut out. And I will cut them out off screen just so you guys know. They'll magically be tiny when they come back. <laughs> the next thing I'm coloring is the frame and I'm just using FBG2 and BG07. And again, I am not being particular on the inside because I am cutting the inside out of this frame. Everything else is staying the frame itself is staying on the white paper. It's going to pretty much kind of be like a mat. So I'm just uh, coloring it in the whole thing with both two colors and just adding some shading here and there. I did do it in sections so that it would be a little bit easier to do the shading because the colors are not super close together so you need to use a lot of ink to blend those uh, to blend the colors together so I'm just doing a little section at a time
and then I'll just do these last two together all at once and get the frame finished up. And I wanted to add it a little bit more um, pizzazz to the frame, so I decided to add some glitter to it. And I used my At You Spica pens that were sent to me a long time ago um, by Jamie from Scrap and Stampers. Thank you, Jamie. I do really like these pens. They have a really, really nice sparkle to them. So I'm just picked a couple lines to follow through on the whole frame and do the same spots. And then I also decided to go around the outside, or sorry, I guess the inside of the circle. very sparkly. <laughs> okay, so the next step is to cut out the inside. I'm using some Nelly's multi frames that I have with all the different size circles. It gives a large selection, so it's good, easy to find a size that fits. I just did that off camera. And then I'm using my Femme frames from Mama Elephant. It's a very good go-to for making A2 cards. I just picked out some patterned paper and I inked up the edges. And that's going to be my first mat on the card. And then I have my frame that I use the stitched portion of the femme frames. And I have my bunnies all cut out there. I'm just going to glue down the mat. And then I'll show you how I cut the little bunny's hand so that he can overlap the frame. I just use squat, uh, Scotch Quick Dry for my gluing, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so the little bunny, I'm just going to take my small detailed scissors and I'm going to cut a straight line up from the bottom just to the edge of the, the paw and then carefully cut around it just a little bit and close to the line too so that you can lift his paw up. And I did it on both sides. I didn't follow the line totally because I know I didn't need to do too much. And then I also have my black marker that I always use for edging. I had already edged the bunnies themselves, but now I'm just edging the little paw so that you don't see the white on the inside of the paper. I guess I got off camera there. Sorry about that. It is a little difficult because you don't want to get black marker all over the rest of the bunny, but... Okay, so then I'm just placing them. I know I wanted him right in the middle. And I take a tiny little piece of scotch tape just to hold him in place. And then the other bunny is going to go on the outside of the frame, looking like he's either falling out or climbing in. So that I'm just gluing with um, scotch quick dry adhesive.
and then off camera I added foam tape. I ended up getting a little splotch of black, I'm not sure how, but I did just sand it off eventually with a nail file so you can't see it. So again, off camera I put foam tape all around the back of it so that it is popped up and a little bit on the bunnies. A little staticky and then just center it on the card and I felt that it needed something else I wanted to put a sentiment on it so I decided to use one of my new dies from Gina Marie um, I think that one is pierced fancy labels and then I also use a sentiment from Jelly Bean Soup it's handwritten sentiments is the name of the stamp set I just used the hello there and I embossed it with white embossing and just cut off the edge of the die to place it there. And it's popped up on foam tape. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, subscribe, and have a great day.